How do we bend a box offset in conduit? You don't ever want to just put conduit in like that and put it up on a wall. Cause look, you have this gap and it's a decreasing gap as it goes back. It just looks like crap. So you don't even have to have like a precise exact measurement for any of this. Cause you're not going to get that with the bender. I know that I've got about a half inch of clearance that I need to get. It's not very much that I need to bend. So usually I do my, all my box offsets starting at the very end of the bender. I leave this flush with the end of the bender. I don't draw any lines or anything. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of a kick. Like you look how incredibly little that was. You could barely see any movement on that. Then I'm gonna come through, flip my bender over. For a box offset most of the time, I'm just gonna hug it really close. You wanna make sure that your conduit is straight. You don't want this thing to be turned so that your pipe's going off to the side. Same thing, we're gonna bend down, barely kick it, and there you go.